This morning, State Senator John Proves to discuss the governor's big speech tonight. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate Good it. Good Happy to see to be you. Here. Thank you. Uh, we've already heard some of the issues he's going to talk about tonight. Uh, the, the Great Lakes, roads and bridges, Blue Cross Blue Shield, some of the issues. What do you want to hear tonight? Well, I think that, that continuing some of the reforms that have already been put in place, I, I think is important. Uh, you know, one of the areas that hasn't been addressed yet, the governor intends to make some significant efforts uh, to see past, to see changes, and that's on the infrastructure side of things. Mm -hmm. And in Southwest Michigan, I think we have to think about infrastructure beyond just roads and bridges. Uh, while that's incredibly important because that's how the majority of, of those of us move around the state from a tourism perspective and that's where we bring most of our goods and services around. Of course, manufacturing being a massive part of our economy sure. in southwest Michigan. We also have to think about technology infrastructure, so broadband connectivity. And then and then furthermore, in southwest Michigan and throughout the Great Lakes region, we have to think about our harbors, both commercial and recreational ports, and dredging is a part of that for southwest Michigan, too. You know that right to work is going to come up tonight. People yes. are still, the most divisive thing that's happened in Governor Snyder's term. People still talking about it. People still protesting about it. Uh, what do you think we'll hear on that subject tonight? Well, I think the intent of right to work had nothing to do with, with creating a divisive atmosphere. As much as it had an, an, an effort on the governor's part and on my part, as a representative in the, in the legislature for Southwest Michigan, of looking at the competitive nature of how we compete against other states in the nation. Mm -hmm. I happen to border Southwest Michigan's border, of course, is with Indiana. Sure. Southeast is with Ohio. We have to compete every day. And so from my perspective, it's a matter of giving those individual workers the choice to participate. And when this goes into effect in the end of March, it's not going to change the number of folks who are in unions at all. Mm -hmm. Unions have a place. Collective bargaining remains completely in place. The difference is, is that it gives us the very best chance to compete. And really, job growth is what we're all about these days, is to make sure that we put Michigan in the best opportunity, the best place to compete to keep and grow jobs in Michigan. For those people who do not like um, the right to work, mm -hmm. whatever you say in a speech tonight, likely not to change that, that, that opinion. So with that said, what do you think we'll hear on, on that term? Well, on, I, that? I, on right to work, I doubt you're going to hear much about okay. right to work at all. I think you instead, don't think so? I okay. don't think so. I think the governor instead is going to focus on what we're doing in the future. Where are we heading I next in terms of some of the public policies? Uh, you know, in an area that I know that we've spoken about in the past is some veteran services. What are we doing to make sure our veterans are taken care of? Another area is career and technical education. Manufacturing is here to stay in Michigan. Now, it has certainly contracted. It has been a tough 10 years in Michigan. But the sooner that we can recognize that, that not all of our students are going to go to Western Michigan University right. or Michigan or Michigan State or even our community colleges, we need to make sure that we give kids the very best chance to marry our, our career and educational goals with the jobs of today and tomorrow. And in many cases, it's manufacturing, high-skilled, high-paid, good benefits manufacturing. We're almost out of time, but before you go, I know something you worked very hard on uh, was signed into law last week. Uh, Aaron's Law. Just your thoughts on that, how proud you are of, of the work done there. Well, it, it's, it's an, an unbelievable situation, both the Sandusky case in, at Penn State University and a story like Aaron's where she was abused twice, sexually abused twice as a child. One in four girls, one in six or one in seven boys are sexually abused by the time that they're 18 years old and 90% of the time, Josh, they know their perpetrator. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's an unbelievably staggering number of individuals who sometimes then become perpetrators as adults. So if we can break that cycle of violence, give kids the very best tools to understand how to say no and to tell, tell, tell. Tell a responsible adult. Make sure that a responsible adult knows that something wrong is happening to you. And then hopefully that breaks that cycle of violence. I think it's going to have uh, an impact on millions and millions of people over the years ahead in Michigan just by simply giving that awareness and giving kids the tools to tell a responsible adult. State Senator John Prose, thanks for your time this morning. Really appreciate it. Appreciate it. it. Thank you. Uh,